Today, delegates met at the G20 summit that was hosted in New Delhi. Unfortunately included was the Russian Terrorist Federation representative seen below being very rude to an unsuspecting staff member. Obviously, the conversations at the meeting were dominated by the invasion of Ukraine, which I'm sure he really didn't like. Though most members there agreed to condemn the war, of course, Russia and China disagreed. And our Chinese friends actually went as far as to block the move to condemn the invasion outright. And the host of the event, India, remained cowardly as they have not yet condemned Russian terrorism as to not ruffle any feathers. Hey India, as you're shaking hands with the said terrorists today, their terrorist federation today sent a missile that destroyed another resident building and people as they slept today. Emergency crews are still working to recover people from under the rubble. Interestingly enough, during the meeting, it's said that Anthony Blinken and Lavrov actually had a little 10-minute sideline chat. It's said that this is the first meeting and chat they've had since before the invasion. Reportedly, part of the conversation was Blinken trying to encourage Russia to come back into the nuclear arms treaty, reminding them that they will stand by Ukraine for as long as it takes, and urging Moscow to release American Paul Whelan, who was detained in 2018. I imagine this conversation to be done through clenched teeth and a calm and intimidating demeanor like we see in the movies. And of course, Russian news agencies wouldn't be doing their job if they weren't reporting that the two leaders did not meet on the sidelines of the summit in the left corner of the room. That did not happen, no. And 36 hours ago, the Institute of the Study of War warned that Russia was preparing for a false flag operation. Why? Obviously to distract from their severe lack of success on the ground in Ukraine. And to all of our surprise, Russia claimed today of an Ukrainian saboteur attack in a bordering region of Bryansk. Russian lawmakers even went as far as to confirm that there's going to be an emergency gathering in regard to this saboteur attack. But moments later, the Kremlin turned around and whoop, Dismiss that report. There will be no such meeting. What are you talking about? All the while, the leader of a Russian group fighting with Ukraine against Russia has taken responsibility for the attack. They are a rare group of Russians fighting Putin's regime. And finally, in an interesting turn of events via a political report, the president of Serbia is stating that he's facing some difficult choices as he reconsiders his relationship with Moscow. He's basically pissed at Russia's recent campaign to recruit fighters for the Wagner Group in his country to fight against Ukraine. He has recently condemned the group and said that all Serbians who were recruited and went to Ukraine to fight will be arrested. But thus far, Serbia has been having two feet on each side of the fence when it comes to Russia. On one side, they have not condemned Russian terrorism and not imposed sanctions. And on the other hand, they are pursuing to join the EU. You can't have it both ways. Slava Ukraini, Heroem Slava, Razom do Perimohi. Please follow me for more regular updates and subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram.